Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire. We're going to continue through these gas fields today by just moving to the right, and uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, hey, why don't you let me through? Yeah, there's actually some hidden gas traps in this one. You have to go around those little uh, little uh, skulls there. We're going to start by going down to the left here. Yeah, because there are some treasure chests down there. We definitely want to get those. But first, we're going to face off a new enemy against the Wraith. So here's the, uh, I guess, the head of the skeleton family, the Wraiths, I guess. Blast only affects one uh, person, or one enemy, so I'm going to go ahead and use Chill for now so we can hit them all. That's going to be your best bet here, I think. Yep, still can't take him out, though, with one full... One full uh, round, though. There you go. Sweet. He's slow, too. Way to go. And now Ox will smash him with his hammer. There we go. Brilliant. And now auto battle. And there we go. Good job. Not as much experience, but that's okay. You know, I'm going to go back to my dragon sword. Uh, the boomerang just isn't doing enough damage. Uh, where is it? There we go. Awesome. Yeah, we're just going to move down here and... Uh, and just make our way down here. And these gas fields, they can be kind of tricky. Sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error to uh, get it all worked out. But we get a life potion there. We may end up using that if we keep facing off against those. Against those Warhog X's who can kick your ass if they both use that that multi-targeting attack. And we get some headgear here. Um, can't remember if we can actually use this. Uh, let's see. Now... Now it looks like the Skull Helm is going to be the best way to go, so... Alright, let's backtrack real quick now, and... Well, we get a new spell for Blue there. She learned Gale. Uh, to cast some Wind Magic, so that'll be helpful. Yeah, I've already had to use some Acorns to restore Nina's MP so she can heal our characters. You definitely are going to want to use uh, your, your MP restoring items in this area to keep Blue in business, because she's going to be your lifesaver. You're going to get gain a lot of levels in this area, but you are... Oops, come on. But you are going to get your ass handed to you, so just be ready for that. You can also use M-Drops if you absolutely have to. So, anyways. Alright, so now we're going to go back. And now we're back to where we started, so I'm going to uh, definitely take a second here. And if worse comes to worse, you also have your W Antlers, hopefully, and uh, M-Drops. Or you can just run, if you absolutely have to run. So, okay. Uh, let's see, now we're going to want to go up here, and then... And if you also run out of magic, you can just use your curative items, too. Can I go up this way? Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, and now, uh, oops. Up here, and then around. There we go. Excellent. And up through here. Oh, come on, game. Well, can I not go that, can I not go that way? Oh, man. Okay, this area can really mess you up if you're... Ugh. Okay, let me make sure I... Let me make sure I got this right. Hang on one second. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. I screwed this up. Sorry, BCS Universe. I, uh, I'm completely off. You actually want to go up this way. There we go. And kind of make your way up through here. And then up here. And then out through. And then out through here. And we made it to the other side of the gas field. Sweet. And now we have this cave here. Ah, oh, nice happy music. Doesn't like, sounds like we have to fight any enemies in here. And, ooh. Hey, there's a little guy standing there. What's up? Oh, Courage isn't here. But aren't you Courage? The game says you are. Oh, does that mean we have to fight him, I guess? Hey, I can't move. Hey, it's those two guys. Oh, there's Ant. Wait, how did you follow here without getting smashed by those monsters? How come I could walk all the way through, but they could just hide along? Yes, you're still powerful, Courage. All right. Oh, the wise sage giving him some advice there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It can be tough. Yeah, but if the Courage... If Courage doesn't have Courage, we're kind of screwed. Uh, yes. Don't upset Mogo, he's so sweet. What? They disappeared! Were they ghosts the whole time? Figments of the imagination? I don't get it. Alright, and there's Reason. Whoa! Did he morph into him? Ha ha ha! Yes! <laughs> Humor must be telling, telling jokes, because... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, humor's funny there. 
And sad is all sad, like Eeyore. Oh, yeah, so if courage is cool, then fear can just go away. This is kind of nice. Yeah, let's get him. Raw aggression, I love it. Wow, he's doing good. All right, and now Mogu's with us. And Mogu joins the team. Yeah, I knew that music would come eventually. All right. And now we have a new party member, Mogu. Let's check him out. Yeah, not bad. Do we have any equipment for him? Let's see. Yeah, can we give him a shield? Oh, yeah, he's got a claw, so we can't do that. How about that headgear? Yeah, that'll work for now. Uh, let's see, anything else we give him? How about this hat? Yeah, the hat's a little better. We can give him that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to beef up his equipment, but I'll do that when we get out of here. I'm actually not going to be using him that much, so. All right, uh, how is his speed, by the way? Man, yeah, not good. So Mogu's not a great character, but he definitely has his uses. Uh, okay, so what I need to do now is I actually need to, we need to go fight that moth monster. So what I need to do is, unfortunately, you can't warp in this area with the warp spell. So I have to make my way back through the gas field. I'll probably be using some healing items and stuff like that. And then uh, I will heal up at the inn, work my way back through the north cave, just like you saw earlier. If you can't remember how to do that, go to the last episode. And then I will meet you right in front of that moth, and we'll see how that goes. All right, let's do this. A mole versus a moth. Should be interesting. All right, we've made it back here, and one thing I will say uh, about going through those gas fields, which is pretty cool, is it actually can boost some of your character's levels. Um, Blue learned another spell. She learned the ice spell. Nina learned zombie 2, which can really hurt the undead. And Mogu, whose levels are already low. I think they were like at... Yeah, she, he's only at level 23, so that, or he was at 22, and that boosted it up to 23, so that's pretty good. But in the meantime, let's take on Mothro. You don't scare me, you stupid moth. Let's do this. Oh, you, oh, who's the coward now? This little kid's running away. After him. Yeah, we want to follow because there's nothing up uh, further up that path. So, all right, let's go. Just follow the normal path here. Just follow the path and, um, yeah, should be good to go from here. All right, damn it. Yeah, that moth thinks he can get the best of me. Hey, nuts. Okay, so we're going to want to go all the way up here until we hit a dead end and then walk to the right. And we hit another dead end. Now we're gonna go to the south, and we're gonna ignore that red switch for now. We're just gonna keep on going until we hit a dead end. Should go, should go, should go. And we're just gonna keep on going until we can't do anything more. Okay, now we're gonna go to the left. So you're pretty much just making a square. Now when you get here, just go up, and there we go, now we can see everything again. Sweet. Now we're just gonna head up here, through this little path, and now we hit a staircase. Yep, definitely going to want to make use of this staircase. All right, now we're up on the next floor. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Let's check the path out. All right. Yeah, the enemies in here are much uh, easier than in the last area we were in, for sure. Oh, dang it. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is you can just kind of go down here, and we're going to want to hit this switch real, real quick if the game would let me. There we go. Now, what happens if you go up here? Ah, Karn finds a trap. So... If you'd have just walked one more step further south, you'd actually escape the tower. So, all right, let me check my time real quick. All right, yeah, we're doing good. So, all right, we're going to want to head to the right, actually. And then from here, we go to dead end. So we're going to go up and to the left. All right, now we're going to go up again. Now, here's where it gets kind of tricky. You need to count one, two, three, four, five. And we see a couple of red switches. If we've counted five, we can go to this little area right here and run into a random battle. But then we can go up here and trigger the switch to get to the final staircase. Taking us to the top floor. And... Uh, oh, come on. What is... Hey! I'm getting all tripped out here. All right. And we're doing good. And uh, if we go down there, we'll be able to fight against the enemy of this area. But can we defeat him? Will we be able to save Mogu? Can we defeat this moth once and for all? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all. Come on, punk. Oh, I can't be that bad.